Hey, what's up, guys? And I just finished the completion for the new uh, variant 5. And honestly, it was super easy. A lot easier than I thought it was going to be. Considering the buff, uh, the rewards got buffed so much, I expected it to be a lot harder than it actually was. So, yeah, we're just going to show you just how to complete it real quick. Because the completion is not that hard. Or is it? Okay. So... I use the exact same team for every single chapter, or for every single, like, um, yeah, just every single quest, basically. One thing to keep in mind is that this variant has zero hard bo bosses. Like, none of the bosses are hard. So you start off with quest one, and I think on this one, honestly, this one might have, like, the most, like, I don't really know which one the easiest path is. But you can pretty much take any path. I am concerned a little bit, though, about this, um... Havoc. I think I'm gonna need to use Venom for that. With his armors. So you could either take 90% armor and strike back. Energize path and or stun him or, or basically immune to everything in Bane. Um each path has their own difficulties. This is like the one quest where there's not like that clear of an easy path. But maybe the left hand path, um, if you want to use Venom, I'll try to get armors for this guy i just did this path of clairvoyant it was pretty easy and then the boss is just a big captain marvel with a lot of armor and mighty charge and immune to debuff so it's basically just a slug fest but it's not that hard so yeah and i use this exact same team for everything we're gonna quest two i the question was the only quest that really didn't really have like a clear easiest path but everything else had very clear options so for this one, you want to take this left hand side. It's just breakthrough. So I just use clairvoyant breakthrough, spam special twos in the heal phase, and just stayed at one hundred percent the entire time. You do, your damage gets really crazy really quickly, so it's super easy. None of the fights are hard. Then you have an ocelite stun immune power shield Gamora. That's super easy. You could use anyone really and just play good. So the first two quests, I think the first quest might actually be the hardest. I don't know. I haven't done all the other paths though. So next we go into chapter two. And let's see which path I took. So this is the path, um, what was this? This path's very small, there's only four fights, that's why I took it. And it's power focus one, so they have a lot of power gain, and an enhanced special one, and, and uh, what's it called? Aggression prowess. First three fights, super easy. And then just you just need a vision arcus counter, if you have that, you're good. If you have doom, you're good. Pretty much you could use anyone really, if you just play smart. So I would just take that path because it's the shortest and easiest. Next you got Scarlet Witch Boss Vivified and Unblockable Specials. So yeah, just as a big Scarlet Witch that's going to throw a lot of specials. Pretty easy once again, just being someone poison immune, I would say. Next we go into the next one. Which one is this? We got... Which path is this? This is the fourth quest. We got Storm Boss. She has adaptive, arc overload, aspect of evolution, and bleed vulnerability. So I just used Venom or Clairvoyant, super easy. This path, um, I'd say this is definitely the easiest path. It's bleed vulnerability and aspect of evolution. But you can kill him so fast with Venom. If you have a big Venom, that because bleed vulnerability, you just destroy it. Because you're just spam bleeding. And you're doing 200% more damage. You just destroy this path so easily. Just for this one, just parry 3 combo because it's a Nightcrawler. And the boss, super easy once again. This variant is very easy to get your completion in if you have at least a decent roster. Next, we got the final. Wait, no, I just did that one. Okay, we're already in chapter three. We're moving fast. Um, this might be the hardest boss, I think. Um, but here, I'll show you. But the path is very easy. So you're going to want to take this path. It has psychic thorns. Which, um, if you hit them without an energy attack, you take damage. But it also has a life transfer. And if you don't know what life transfer is, then you probably haven't even done F5 yet. And you probably shouldn't do this. But So it's a very super easy node or path. You can just out-heal all the damage. Be careful for Guillotine 2099, though. Because on her special 2, she puts a cure reversal on you. So if you have life transfer and that at the same time, you could die really quickly. And then this is the uh, Symbiote Spider-Man boss. Basically, just a big symbiote Spider-Man with um, um, a lot of evade, more power gain, connect transference, and limber. So you got to be really careful. Definitely the hardest boss. And then, but the path to get to him is super easy. So you should have 
pretty much all your characters are but full health unless you make your mistake. And then the final quest, and there's also like um by the way I didn't mention like global nodes, um they give different like characters different abilities, but I didn't even pay attention to them, and it was still super easy. I didn't even look at these when I was actually doing it. Improved power gain, shrugs off eighty percent sooner. I mean, pretty much any of these you could do. But I'd say the middle one's easy because it's literally just um, all buffs for this champion last 40% longer and outlast, which are both like two nothing nodes. As long as you have a good power control option for hype, and uh, I just use this guy for Invisible Woman, super easy. And then the final Venom boss is very, well, I don't know if very easy, but it's if I didn't have Doom, I don't know really how fun it would be. You basically just have has crazy power gain, and he throw and his special two is unblockable, so... And since it's a variant, his attack is very high. You might just want to spam special one evades, unless you have Doom for me, which I just um, spam. I mean, he didn't really throw any specials in that fight, so it's super easy. Six star on three Doom. So yeah, that is variant one. In a nutshell, it is very easy to get completion in. I use this exact same team for all the paths. Um, Venom, Doom, Stealth Spidey, Symbio Supreme. And honestly, Symbiote Supreme was kind of useless, so when I do my exploration, I might just replace him with 5-star Doom. So, yeah, um, hope you guys enjoyed this video, go like, and subscribe, and also they buff the rewards, which is really good. Very sexy, I'm gonna get that 25. If I get Cosmic from that, I'm gonna be so happy. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video, go like, and subscribe, and yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.